Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. Today my dear friends we will continue our session here on our interest simulator and we will make a piston assembly uh, bug. As you can see we have a lot of things to see together. We will see also the cylinder liner, we will see the stuffing box, the crosshead, the connecting route, we will see also the hydraulic units the accumulator, the fever valves, cylinder lubricators, exhaust valve actuator, fuel booster pump as it calls in these new engines, main bearings, thrust bearings, axial damper, speed sensor, crack angle encoder, starting cylinder starting valve, fuel injection valves, air coolers, uh, water dampers, water demisters, as it calls in other uh, name, auxiliary blowers and crankcase relief valves and also I will share as much as possible uh, the knowledge that I have on them. But first of all we will complete our piston assembly procedure and I will go there to exam as we have shown in the previous videos you can go also and you can choose the demo demonstration uh, so I have pressed the button and the program will be loaded soon. Okay, here we are. We are already familiar with the control. All the parts are here aligning on these wooden planks. And let's move on. For our piston rings, we will use a uh, at the moment when we insert our piston we will use this tool which is laid down here and first of all we will need to open our section here with indication with all our spare parts and down here with the selection of the tools first of all I will select the o-ring which will be placed here one moment I will try to reach as much as possible closer here okay and try to place it in the position so here we are here it's our position okay one moment here okay here one moment our o-ring will be going okay here so by hand it's very very easy to set it in the position and now I will make and I will take this uh, lower part and I will put it uh, on our piston. So this part maybe it will be possible to lift it by hand but I will um, tell you that better use some kind of lifting equipment or your crane or you can use your crane with the chain block attached on it so because there's also some uh, for sure will be available some points for uh, the eye bolts but now we have uh, our lower part of the piston we have it down so we can screw also the bolts here for securing it Okay, here we are. The tension and all the specifications for sure will be on the manual. We always need to refer to our manual to see uh, the tightening torque, the way that it will be done. Okay, here we see the steps and down we see also the progress bar. We are at the fourth step of 28 total steps. Now we will set also uh, this o-ring. One moment. So I have tightening it all. So let's choose one moment. Okay, first of all, I will 
try to insert the pipe here. One moment, I will go on the top. So after insert all the parts here, we will be able to put our piston crown uh, in the position. So this cooling pipe, I can lift it. And the only problem that I get here in this simulator, and it's a little bit annoying, um, it is that some of the tools it's really really difficult to um, pick up from here also the spares now we have set the o-ring okay this will be uh, this was easy really easy the cooling pipe then the cooling uh, insert in the position by hand and now we will use these uh, nuts for securing and as you can see here we have this kind of uh, let's say some issue small issue so i will try different angle from here try to reach it as much as possible closer maybe this will make it more easier so uh, why we need to keep the tightening torques uh, it's a very very interesting thing because uh, by keeping this tension of the specific bolts we will be sure that it will withstand the load and also uh, the conditions that uh, these spare parts exposed to also so it was green i need to press and now we can select okay because sometimes if you will be over tight something or will be not tightened at all uh, or it will be loose or you will get some uh, fracture of the metal and this will lead to some kind of damage so let's see let's see when i will position these uh, bolts and really really i do not like to pass any step because it's really really matters uh, to complete as much as possible uh, with all the steps so as our bolts uh, will become green we will be able to tie them uh, by the nut so i have seen a lot of time that uh, new engineers have lack of uh, tightening experience and uh, most of the problems that we get in the overhaulings or on the procedures it's a wrong tightening and uh, this is a really really a big issue through the time also my dear friends uh, when you are going for second engineer or third engineer you must uh, for sure trust your people that you're working with but always you need to check uh, the abilities that each individual has uh, in that moment because uh, okay you can trust people you can trust people for their work but for sure uh, you will need to check them if they are going uh, to do the job properly oh almost done there it's really really important uh, that uh, after checking and verify that uh, the person involved on the job and each job they can do it with safety first of all and then all the other things uh, 
as I have told also before, the safety is number one priority for all the occupants on board the vessel. Uh, during the time when I'm working also, uh, as you have seen in some videos, okay, I have wearing some t-shirt, but normally uh, this was only for that specific video during the evening and also for sure I inform uh, my colleague, my third engineer, which was living together with me, I told him that I will go there, but sometimes, you know, guys, uh, I don't like to film uh, the crew on board because they maybe they do not like to be shown on the channel or something like that. That's why uh, as much possible I avoid of filming. But maybe in the future, in the next videos, maybe uh, if somebody likes to appear uh, on the channel uh, and like to give some kind of... Uh, interview it will be really really nice to uh, show this person and also will take some kind of interview but it depends also the crew on board and let's see it's really, really annoying this thing it will be better if we press two times uh, to add for the next for the future reference if we press two times this kind of button it will be a sign uh, here direct so i will skip uh, this current step okay i will skip it so not problem about that and now we will put uh, our piston crown so you know that they're going uh, the nuts but as we have put it here now <laughs> for sure we will have some kind of problem and also it will be very very nice uh, to have a simulator and to see uh, the testing of engine to start the engine so the pistons will be rolling inside and okay i know that this is a really really uh, big load so this kind of simulators for sure will be paid and to see that what will happen to the engine okay for sure some kind of damage will happen with the cooling after some time all you will hit some noises because uh, the speed of the piston up and down it's really really fast okay not so fast uh, like a formula one engine but for sure will make damage uh, through the time so now uh, we have our spacers here i will try to put them and position uh, on the place one moment where is that <laughs> i do not really like to skip <laughs> that part <laughs> we will not have our spacers even or the nuts it will be really really bad as you have seen they became green in some place and after uh, they disappear so as i have understand here and as i have seen if i press these nuts and i drive them here and the mouse will be placed here close to the surface okay it's working so we have found this was uh, my mistake and always my dear friends uh, when you are working somewhere uh, try as much as possible to recognize your mistakes that uh, you have made uh, this is nothing uh, special because if you recognize your mistakes you always will be uh, forward and preventing a lot of things and a lot of uh, conflicts so here we are we're going to place our piston rings 
Uh, the piston rings also have a lot of indication where they are going, uh, the place they are fitted. So, okay, we will need uh, our expander again to set them back. So, as we have seen, okay, our expander will be back. And uh, the selection of the rings, it's really, really important. So they must be a uh, proper selected. As they have also the numbers and also you have seen some marks on them. Uh, this will really, really help you to recognize them, which one and where it goes. And also very, very important thing is, as you can see, the cutting edges is different, as you can see. And a very, very important thing is to turn them later on for the reason that uh, the gases that is passing here from the top and low to the first ring some of them will pass here but from here because we have turned as you can see we have a uh, 90 or 60 degrees depends how many uh, piston rings we have it uh, will stop the traveling of the gases and the gases uh, will find a wall that will uh, deflect them and drive them through the small insert between the ring and the piston uh, groove so the ring will be expand and will make the sealing effect so after we have set our piston rings on the position and i really really like how uh, there is the, uh, the reflection from the surfaces okay the surfaces it's not so much run uh, so much around but I really really love how uh, the reflection goes on the piston here so what we have here now we have uh, the six bolts from the stuffing box and now what we can do we can place uh, our lifting tool let's go and see so uh, this video i have uh, made only one simple demonstration before when i made the disassembly and for the assembly really i didn't see the video at all i just remember uh, the previous step from the previous video so I make and I remember uh, the procedure which is reversible exactly, nothing really change. So let's see, okay for sure I will need to remove these bolts here because if we do not remove them we cannot uh, pick up our piston uh, up. So also in the previous contract, and I like to share with you, my dear friends, I have seen this floor here was really, really deformated. And that shows that something big happened there. Some stuffing box stuck up or some improper handling. And uh, that I can say that, okay, we will place our tool. Let's see where it goes goes here it means that uh, a proper handling was made because uh, it's really really heavy equipment and as much as possible we need to handle with care so we have placed our uh, special tool which will compress our piston rings and drive them inside to the cylinder liner 
First of all, also we will apply some uh, quantity of oil so it will be more easy for sliding and as much as possible all the surface here will be prepared will be shiny and clean so as we have removed the bolts from our piston support we can lift it up and with our stuffing box ready inside we will insert it uh, inside so this procedure it's not so fast it's really really take times and it really uh, most of uh, the time this kind of operations must be done with really uh, really really careful so we will go here we will remove normally first of all uh, as you can see here we need to drive our uh, stuffing box inside and secure it first of all this thing we need to do uh, and let's see here let's see that i see that our a camera is not moving that means we need to select something here yes the camera it's not moving uh, at all so our crane also is highlighted so I will try and I okay I can select this one or the crane tool select error so I will select this one here. Okay. Normally we must not remove like that because uh, where our piston stands now, we don't know. Okay. Uh, to be exactly in the position, it's uh, really, really uh, difficult to do that for sure because the foot down the connecting uh, not the connecting rope the um, one moment the piston root it's really really here one moment we will go inside we will go inside to the engine so as you can see here okay our piston and our connecting root it located on the top dead center so here where is one moment where is our stuffing box okay here as you can see it's already in position somebody must be here and drive uh, the piston route to passing through this opening where the stuffing box will be lying and also the holes here, the six bolts and the six holes. Uh, as we can see here, must be uh, inserted. So as we can see also here in this position, uh, that everything is on the position. After that, we remove the crane if everything it's secured and we know that we have uh, everything aligned so let's see as you can see it uh, make a uh, green uh, here so what we need to do it's to secure with uh, the nuts the hydraulic nuts and as you can see after the securing one moment okay in the turning normally it turns down okay one moment to reach there and to bring in here but it's better to put a really my dear friends it's better to put the hydraulic nuts because by the moving uh, it will be likely to touch the surfaces of the threads 
So better to apply them. And also what I will do now. <laughs> at that moment when the piston was at the top dead center. It was the best time to insert uh, this kind of bolts and secure the stuffing box. Because now at this uh, height it will be really really difficult. So this is allen bolts securing there. So it's already secured. And now we are going here. So we are going up on the top or we can set, let's see, we can set and my dear friends really really uh, through the time I have seen the spare, the spare parts and the special tools really really in bad condition try as much as possible uh, keep, keep them in good conditions because really really these tools uh, it will be really really necessary for you let's go up if we can place the metal gaskets on our top also we will remove this tool and as I know, this kind of tool have two eye bolts, which will be more easy uh, for transferring and transportation. So let's see, let's place them, okay. By hand. So that was the liner gasket and the piston cleaning ring. And what remains here now remains to put the hydraulic nuts and then we will tight uh, our piston root here okay here we are i put it by hand and then we apply the hydraulic pressure so my dear friends don't forget to check the previous videos and also to check the kongsberg simulator and also this new uh, videos and simulators and also don't forget to check the new sites that I have upload don't forget to have your always your thumbs on the top and be here with adventure story to see something interesting about marine engineering see you in the next video my dear friends bye bye